Thanks for joining me for another episode of Bitcoin and Coffee. I'll be your host, Eugene Forrest. So let's take a look at the marketplace here in BNC. Uh, we got BTC coming in at $1,733.32. This is the correction uh, that I was talking about yesterday. Uh, you know, when BTC shoots real high, it's usually pulls back. Uh, this is a little bit deeper than what I was expecting. I seen it get down to like the 16, uh, the low 1600 range yesterday uh, for a bit. And then we, you know, we've been climbing back up ever since. Uh, you know, this is standard with BTC. It usually tests the boundary at the top of the channel, and then you know, there's a dip and a pullback. People making money. You know, question about whether or not it went too high, and then BTC climbs back up there, and then it'll test new new boundaries. Uh, we got Ethereum coming backwards at 87.85. We got Litecoin coming backwards as well at 28.11. We got Steam taking a dip too at 70 cents. We got Monero at 28.24, not that bad of a dip for them. We got uh, NEM coming in at 12.6 cents, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, we got Dash at $87 uh, even, we got Zcash at 95.08 and Factum at 8.99. Um, you know this is this is standard you know bitcoin is ultimate everything is tied to bitcoin so just like high tides raise all ships uh you know when the sea goes out all the boats come low too uh so let's see what do we got here for news well the first big news is uh the british national health service uh was hit by hackers uh 16 different agencies over there are they have problems with their computers. Uh, they're all encrypted. They're not able to get into patients' files. Uh, they're not able to access, you know, some of their computer services. Um, the ransomware that's involved is asking for $300 per computer in Bitcoin for a total of $510,000. Uh, you know, half a million dollars. Um, you know, this is the kind of stuff that's going to be expected here in the future as cryptocurrency takes hold, as, you know, the world relies on technology, uh, as we're all integrated through the Internet and computers. Um, you know, bad people do bad things and they're going to sit there and they're going to do everything they can. And, you know, with this currency of Bitcoin being able to pass from network or from country to country, you know, the way that it does without all of these laws, it's a perfect avenue for these criminals. So, I mean, it's not Bitcoin's fault. It's just how things are out there. Uh, so, next up in the news, I got that uh, Lightning Network, they had their first test. Uh, you know, they sent 1.3 cents. Uh, it took less than a second. Um, this is wonderful. This is this is a lot sooner than people were saying. Uh, you know, we have, you know, Segwick activating earlier this week, and here we are already with our first uh, test of the Lightning Network. Um, hopefully, this will, you know, get the Lightning Network up and running and help push Segwick on uh, BTC and you know this problem of right now we're sitting at about 148,000 unconfirmed transactions and you know this is a problem we've been here for quite a while now uh, the fees are out of control at this moment and I mean we're still looking at a 53.7 uh, billion dollar market cap with 28.8 billion of which being BTC with a 53.2 percent dominance so I mean, with Bitcoin being still ultimate, still all of the value over half, um, that's what you need to transfer. You know, uh, Litecoin is showing what can be done on Bitcoin. So we just have to move past these debates of what's happening. Uh, we need to, I mean, Bitcoin Unlimited is junk and everybody knows it at this point in time. So uh, these unconfirmed transactions are definitely going to motivate people towards getting Segwick activated. And... I mean, it's all over, you know, the other channels and what's happening. Uh, I have that, oh, if you're one of the people that are investing in Z Classic and plan on splitting it to the Zen coin, um, make sure that you get your coins over to the Bit, uh, Tricks, uh exchange before Tuesday the 16th. Um, they're going to, about two hours before the block is hit, they're going to shut down and, you know, take a, an image of it and split your coins for you for there. So, you know, if that's what you're doing, you know, never leave your coins on an exchange. So maybe Monday night or early Tuesday morning, go ahead and take care of that. That's probably going to be your easiest way to get that done. Um, we got Exodus Wallet has an update coming up on May 25th. So make sure you get that. Um, 
And that's about all we're looking at here on Bitcoin and coffee. Uh, you know, right now the biggest concerns are the unconfirmed transactions. You know, something needs to happen with this. It's taking way too long to get a Bitcoin transaction from one place to another. Um, nobody can send micro payments. Uh, I mean, not even micro payments, but payments of you know ten dollars and under are getting to be a little unrealistic at this point in time. So, I mean, if you like everything that's going on here at Bitcoin and Coffee, I need you to hit the subscribe button. The like button's right over there. That's the best way to get other people over here uh, at BNC, see what's going on, uh, help them avoid scams. I got all kinds of tools listed down here below uh, to help you navigate you know, the cryptocurrency markets, uh, help you keep an eye on the Bitcoin network. Um, I also have affiliate links below uh, to get you a hard wallet if you don't have one because that's the best way to keep your Bitcoin safe is offline and in your pocket in your own little vault. And below is also my email address. Uh, I receive quite a few emails every day from new people and I don't mind. Uh, that is part of why I'm here. Uh, if you're a new person and you have you know, simple basic questions and are just looking for answers, go ahead and shoot me an email. Uh, you know, my phone will ring or jingle and I usually get back to you as soon as possible as long as I'm not busy working. And remember people, keep your Bitcoin safe.